I'm Tom Kite, and this is my U.S. Open. There's a big difference between the best player who hasn't won a major championship or the best player who hasn't won a major championship yet. And I always kept reminding myself that there was still time. Now granted, once you start getting into your 40s, as I was, now you're starting to push it. And, and um, you know, I was beginning to wonder whether it was ever gonna happen, but uh, uh, you, know, you keep trying and, and hoping. I had a spell, as we all do through our careers, of you know where you sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. And uh, the latter part of '91, I had not played well, and consequently didn't have myself qualified for the Masters since 1970. It's the first time I'd missed the Masters. You know, obviously I had time to to work on my game, and, and shortly thereafter, uh, I don't know, I kind of found something. Just all of a sudden, felt good about my game, and, and so from that point on into Pebble Beach, and I felt like I really had a great chance. The forecast was for more wind. It was gonna be a cool, cold, blustery day, and you just knew that, and you're just preparing for it. This is an extremely fast putt. Yeah. for the lead. Tom Kite, who's never won a major, is tied for the lead in the U.S. Open. The wind was blowing like crazy, and the greens were so dried out. Conscious of the wind blowing, and we're going to see an awful lot of, uh, of errors today. But the next three holes kind of set the tone for the day. Tom Kite getting it down for a par to stay in a tie for first place in the U.S. Open. That baby was smoking. Wow. What a hole to get a birdie on. So, Kite has moved to the seventh tee. You got 14 clubs, and not one of them is right. No club works. It's like you can spit on the front of the green. And there I am with a six iron. Trying to hold it into that wind. Oh, this one's going way left. I built my game around my wedge game. I was the first one to use the 60 degree wedge. I could have pulled the club on the tee when I saw that the ball was in the high rough left of the green. I could have grabbed that club and walked down with it right there. He's pitching the ball back into the wind. It may help a little. Long back swing. Nice short follow through. Oh. Shock. Total shock. People have compared it to Watson's chip in on 17, and the great reaction that Tom had. You know, he had one hole to go, and he's right there with a, a great position to win. I've got half the golf course. And by the way, the first half that I've just seen is really hard, and it's not getting any easier. That is so good from there. Oh, this is a great shot here. The thing that makes 12 so difficult is that the green is so shallow from front to back. It's a small target with windy, windy conditions. For some reason, I always had a good feel on that green. Oh, what a big putt that is. Everybody remembers the chip in on number seven and they think, well, you won the tournament there. No, that's just one piece of the puzzle. Oh boy. Perfect. Oh boy. Of such things are open championships made. Feeling pretty good there. No, I've got it. Got it in pretty good shape at this point. All of a sudden, uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Oh, my God. 
Guys, what about the shot? Is that good or not? Huh? Well, I suppose if you uh, if you're Tom Kite with the short game that he's got, I guess he doesn't mind the bunker that much. Throughout that entire round, I was as focused as I've ever been, and in the present tense. Uh, I wouldn't allow myself to get too far ahead. I wouldn't allow myself to dwell on what happened in the past. It was what's happening right now. And I know that if I hit a good tee ball, it's over. I made one of the best swings that, that I made the whole day. I mean, it was just pure. When you wait that long to win a major championship and all of a sudden you do it in a place that you love, on a golf course that everybody respects so, so much, but under those conditions, it's just so satisfying. Tom Kite, at last, at the age of 42, has won his first major championship, the U.S. Open. You look at my reaction on the green, you know, it's not euphoria. It's not joy, even though it was. All I feel is relief. I survived the day. I survived one of the toughest U.S. Opens I've ever been and came out on top. And, and at the age of 42, became a major championship winner.